Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be doing an unboxing of Xiaomi's new mid-range smartphone, Mi 8 Lite in Aurora blue color. So let's start the unboxing, but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notified every time I post a new video. So this is the global version, which means uh, the Play Store comes pre-installed. This is the 64 GB, 4 GB RAM variant, but the phone also comes with a 128 GB, 6 GB RAM option. So let's unwrap the smartphone and see what's inside the box. Now this is the smartphone in Aurora blue color. Let's keep it aside. It comes with a normal power adapter. No fast charging, but the phone does support fast charging in 3.0 and 4.0. A USB Type C, a USB to 3.5 mm headphone dongle, as the phone doesn't have a 3.5 mm headphone jack. It also comes with a rubberized transparent case for the protection, which is good as the phone is quite slippery and this also gives the phone a good grip. Also, there is some paperwork regarding the phone dynamics. It's a dual SIM smartphone. You can use two SIM card at the same time or one SIM card with a micro SD card at the same time. So this is all what you get out of the box. Now let's take a look at the smartphone itself. It's a 6.28 Full HD Plus display. It has a dual rear camera and a Snapdragon 660 processor. The blue color looks great and has a gradient effect. So it's like blue and purple finishing. So when you rotate the phone, it gives a very cool look. Quite similar to how Huawei Nova 3e looks. Now let's turn on the smartphone for the first time. The phone has booted up and you can see it's running MIUI 9. Now let's go through the initial setup. The phone has an inbuilt fingerprint sensor and also has a face unlocking option. Let's add the fingerprint first. It takes a while to register your fingerprint. Setup is complete now. Let's check the software of this device. Phone is running MIUI 9.6 based on Android 8.1. I'm sure soon it will be updated to MIUI 10. From 64 GB storage, you get usable 51 GB of storage. Snapdragon 660 is a decent processor. Faster than 636 for sure. You can see the Geekbench benchmarks are solid. The only downside of the phone is its battery, which is 3350mAh, which is not bad, but compared to Xiaomi's other phones, a 4000mAh battery would have been better. The phone comes with standard 46 sensors, notification light sensor is included. Now let's check the phone's fingerprint sensor. I must say the fingerprint sensor is quite fast and reliable. Let's now check the face unlock feature. I have to share that there is a common issue with Xiaomi phones, especially with the face unlocking feature. As you can see here, it does not show the face unlocking option in the settings. To enable face unlocking, I have to change my region to Hong Kong. For some reason, it's very annoying, but it is what it is. This is a global version. It should have the face unlock feature enabled by default, but unfortunately, you have to manually do it in the settings. So when you go to the region and you choose Hong Kong region, it will give you the face unlocking option in the settings. So now you can see that I have the add face data option. Let me register my face and see how the feature works. I must say that the face unlock on this device is very similar to a flagship device. It's very fast and very reliable. It is much faster than the Redmi Note 6 Pro which I was using earlier. Now let's talk about one of the main features of this device or any device nowadays. It's camera. The smartphone has 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel AI enabled dual camera on the rear with an excellent autofocus which is dual autofocus. Also, it has a portrait mode option. It has an aperture of 1.9 with dual LED flash. It can shoot 4K 30 frame per second and 1080p with 60 and 30 frame per second. Also, it can record slow motion video at 1080p. Now, this is something excellent because these are the flagship specifications. On the front, it has 
24 megapixel camera can take portrait mode and also has 1080p video recording with 30 frames per second with an aperture of 2.2. Before sharing you the sample images and videos, I must say the camera on this device is awesome. It takes some great images. Definitely it has some limitations. It's not like a pixel or an iPhone camera, but for this price, it takes some stunning images and beautiful videos. It is much better than the Redmi Note 6 Pro, which is also a decent camera. So. It says a lot about this. Also, the ability to record 4K with 30 frames per second is a good addition. Here are some sample images and videos of this device. I'll be doing a detailed camera review of this device, so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch that. Now let's see a video on this device and see how does it fit on the screen. Does it go beyond the notch or does it restrict itself within the notch? And also check the speaker and the sound quality of this device. So overall, I must say that Xiaomi has done a great job by bringing this new smartphone with so many features for an amazing price. In UAE, the price is 880, which is equivalent to 15,400 Indian currency. Now, whenever you see a website or like Flipkart or a retailer selling this phone, they might charge you a little bit extra for some odd reasons because they have to make profit. But in the description below, I will give you a link and the phone number of the shop where you can buy in Dubai, which is giving you one of the best prices. But again, they will not ship to any country. You have to be in Dubai to buy it. The camera on the smartphone is the highlight and the only downside of this smartphone I can think of is this battery life, which is not bad, but which can easily take you through a day, but on a heavy usage or if you are a gamer, you like to play a lot of games, take a lot of 4K videos, I think then it will be difficult to last a day. So 4000 mAh battery would have been much better for this beautiful device. But overall, I must say that from my side, I will encourage you to buy this device. It is it is really decent for its price point, the look, the camera, the screen, everything is excellent. Xiaomi has been pulling out some of the greatest device for an excellent price point. So this is a great win for the consumers. So kudos to Xiaomi for making this device. That's all for this video, guys. Soon I'll be making more videos on this device. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you like my contents. See you in my next video. Till then, goodbye and peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon. So you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.